Have you seen my YouTube videos? Yep. It's All of them. Happen. Every single one, baby. Do yes, you, I do. Okay. Pow, pow, pow. Yeah, zoom. No, you do it. You do the intro. Um, I forget what you say with it. I just remember just be that. super mean and talk about zooming in. Uh, zoom, it. zoom. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> okay, here it is. Hey, I'm Ashley Gavin. Hi, with this, welcome to my YouTube. Zoom, 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 what the kids do. I'm old and on TikTok. That was very good. Yeah. yeah Thank that you. Was very good. Thank you so much. Okay, and, and I'm going to be gent. Okay. Just hot. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that That's was it. Yeah, that, that was, was good. Good. That was You looked really good. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, YouTubers, fans of mine. Welcome to my channel. That's the line I was the, missing. The Ashley Gavin channel. Yeah. I am doing a collab with my hot girlfriend today. Oh, she, But she is also yeah. kind and smart. Oh, we don't need to. And I love her very much. Don't be gross. And today I asked for questions from you on my on my Instagram. Ding! That's my Instagram. If you And here's mine. Ding! <laughs> if you would like to ask us questions for the next thing, you should be following us. You can ask Jen like what's it like, you know, not having to converse with people and just get by on your looks. Hello darkness. My that was rude. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. Welcome to my channel, so sweetie. Mean. Thank this you. is the channel. It's fun here. We just roast everybody. <laughs> okay. So we on um on my Instagram, we asked the people, you, we asked you if you uh, questions to ask us and now we will be collabing. This is us collabing. We collab a lot sometimes sexually. So sex, and we're going to tell we're gonna sex collab. People are going to know. People that? know. We're going to answer the good ones and the shitty ones. You do better next time, you little piece of shit. If you're going to try and contribute to this channel, you have to bring your A game to the questions. Yeah. Screw you guys for trying to interact. Maybe put the mic down closer to your chin so that people can see your beautiful mouth. Well, I have a pimple, so I feel like it's kind of like great. Look at you sipping your water all cute. Shut the fuck up. This is how you can tell she has sex with men, okay? This is how a lesbian I, sucks on a straw. I don't <laughs> anymore. Wow, she's a lesbian. You heard it here first. <laughs> she's all like, ah, let me just... Oh, I just take it part in my hand and part in no, my mouth. The only reason I was doing it like that is because I didn't want it to be clinking around mm. in your microphone. Mm. It's good that you're gay. That's how a dyke does it. Thank you, you for being new, so thoughtful. A new straw. What's your favorite fruit? That's a weird question. You. Aww. I like strawberries and raspberries. I like red fruit. If it's red... I'll probably eat it. That's what I said about nice. your mom. <laughs> your mom's infected red vagina. <laughs> She's got to take care of that, but I'm into it. <laughs> I like mango. Mango's good. Mango's the best. We have like every form of mango in this house. Yeah, we have freeze-dried mango and then regular dried mango and frozen mango. Yeah. What are your favorite things about each other? You think in vagina? <laughs> <laughs> that sweet sweet pussy <laughs> no nah, probably your boobs i've said this on a <laughs> jen is just the goodest person i've ever met in my entire life she, Abs she's a good egg it. i have good egg merch and she, egg i merch. just really admire her as a person her kindness she's a good listener she's sweet she's easygoing everyone likes jen no one doesn't like jen Thank you. That's not true. There's a girl from high school. Fuck that bitch. She's <laughs> definitely watching this. Yeah. She's like, whoa, Jen is on a small YouTube channel. Ooh, showed her. Whoa, Jen's, Jen's dating an ancient niche famous lesbian. Yeah, I am. Um, What's your fucking favorite thing about me, you dumb bitch? Um, uh, wow. I know this is bad. It looks I'm bad. I'm definitely going to put a bunch of ums and ahs in the edit. <laughs> um, okay, that's good. Good. Okay. Uh, oh, you're still thinking about it. That's crazy. <laughs> My favorite thing about Ashley. Well, she's really, she's fun and silly. That's like the most fun thing. But I guess deeper that than that is like, she's super like empathetic and caring and Wow. Has this like kind of mean persona, but it's like not real at all. <laughs> She's like, really nice. <laughs> keep going. You know, this is what. Stick to the script. She's really nice and awesome to be around and loves everyone. And the other thing, the other thing. <laughs> Tell them the other thing. 
She has great boobs. Tell, tell them about the charities. She has so much. She works for so many charities. I work for so many charities. Who wears the pants? I'm wearing them. I'm wearing pants. I'm also, I'm wearing shorts. So me. I wear the shorts in the relationship. <laughs> Any advice for long distance couples? Probably break up. I think if you're in a long distance relationship, probably good to know when it's going to end. If it's very serious to put an end date on it. End date on the end date on the distance. Or on the relationship. On the relationship works too, I guess. Saturday. This is over. (laughs) By the way, sweetie. No, No, I'm free Saturday. On the (laughs) (laughs) To be really independent people. If you're not independent, I think it's really hard. Then you risk like codependency of like texting all the time, calling all the time. You don't want that. You can't treat like digital communication the same as like time together. Yeah. It's just not the same. It's good advice. You don't want to be on the phone all the time. I think it's better to kind of like live a little separately. Mm Mm-hmm. Even though it sucks and you miss each other. You don't want to like resent the other person for making you miss out on your yeah. other life. Yeah. Rude. What quirks does your significant other have that slightly annoy you? What a, what a kind way to have phrased that. I know what mine is. Like that that I annoy you with. That makes me sad. The cabinets. She I leave the, the cabinets. Cabinet and there's a drawer open right the, there. Right over there. Th- this. What the fuck is that? <laughs> will have been quiet for like 30 minutes like no one's talking and she'll be like yeah so i i think i am gonna do this for the next uh podcast episode and i'm like we weren't talking (laughs) she just like assumes i'm living in her brain i think it's kind of funny and i usually know what she's talking about oh my god that's super embarrassing i don't know if it's a creative person quality but like i never stop thinking about work so it's like a constant running thought process of like my ideas uh, for jokes and things it's an interesting look inside (laughs) your brain remember when we were lying in bed and it we had not been speaking we had like said good night had been like about to fall asleep and then then you were like so i think i'm gonna um for this bit i'm gonna and i was like and and then i thought on what i had been thinking about because it was like <laughs> maybe it was like a somewhat deep thought or something yeah no I and a, I, I remember what you're talking about i said something very deep yes something <laughs> like deeply emotional like not i don't even think it was about a joke i think i was just yeah, like yeah i think like, it was emotional. Try and focus more on fully experiencing joy yeah yes like something like that <laughs> Because I remember being like, okay, it's interesting to think that that's what Ashley was thinking about. What was I just doing in my brain? I had been translating, I want it that way, into Spanish. Like, <laughs> digame. <laughs> just to see if I, like, I studied Spanish in school. and like She's it's, fluent in Spanish. She's not giving herself no, credit there. This I, sounds stupid. It's fading this fast. It's fading so fast. Stupid, and, but and, she's fluent in Spanish, so she was translating I'm it. I'm not. And I, like, was just trying to see if I, like. For the edit, can you please sing some more? Eres mi fuego, el único deseo. That's really good. Thank you. I don't know. It could be wrong. Could be wrong for sure. I hate to. I hate to to come off that way. That no. I'm like. No, I don't think. I don't <laughs> like, think that you are. It's more peaceful that way. I think when I was sadder, <laughs> I was definitely like thinking might, about experiencing it, joy. It might be the. It might be the antidepressants. Probably. You're just happy. <laughs> this is a good question. Okay. Did you change each other? This better be fucking good. Oh. God. A lot more anxiety to get it perfect. <laughs> I don't know, but it's just like motivating me to like go after things and not just like live in my corporate job forever. No offense to my corporate job. Thank you for- This is brought to you by- Thank you for- Don't say that. If you're providing green energy for my YouTube channel or just regular energy for my YouTube channel, I don't really know what Jen does. I keep saying she works at a green energy startup and apparently that's not what- is let's just make sure everyone knows where she works don't put (laughs) zoom 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 on (laughs) text (laughs) um thank you for the paychecks um really do appreciate that but yeah just to like go after other stuff too your dreams my dreams what are your dreams i would like to be an actor you already are an actor. i am she doesn't like it when i say that i <laughs> i'm gonna come across as a controlling maniac and i think i have helped you oh wow we're just okay yeah take the credit breeze you jump right in breeze pass it what do you think i've changed you in jen is a very non two things about jen 
She's the most non-judgmental person I've ever met in my entire life. And I would like to be more like that. And also, and I've been trying to be. And I think in the similar area, Jen is very emotionally consistent. Like, not really big highs, not really big lows. <clears throat> and <laughs> until you watch Soul. <laughs> until you watch Disney Pixar's Soul and we, you're weeping. <laughs> all of a sudden. All of a sudden. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, it makes me a more calm person, like a lot more rolls off of me when, since Jen has been in my life. Also, this Uh is really corny. Um, I just think you're a really good partner and whether or not we end up together. Foreshadowing? (laughs) Whether or not we end up together. (laughs) Subscribe. up. Breakup video coming soon. Subscribe <laughs> to find out whether or not our love is real or just for the 6,000 views that this video will get. <laughs> oh, I hope. I so. know. 6,000 would that'd actually be pretty, be pretty nice. good. That'd be pretty good. Uh, whoever I end up loving, I hope I love them the way that you have loved me. Aww. Yeah. Um, that's really sweet. If Instead it's somebody really else, I thing. hope not. How did you know you were gay versus bisexual or bisexual versus gay? For Jen. I think that question could have worked both ways for both of us. I know a lot of people like kind of are unsure when they're coming out. Mm -hmm. And so they identify for bisexual before they identify as gay. Um, I don't mean that in the stereotypical way that all gay people were bisexual first or all bisexual people eventually become gay. That's not what I mean. I just mean like you're figuring it out and you're not really sure. And so bi fits as a label for you. As soon as I be, as soon as I became attracted to women and had been attracted to a couple women, it was clear to me that I never had a feeling in my pants that way for men. You know, I think I like watched like straight porn to try and like trick me, <laughs> trick yourself into being bi rather than gay. <laughs> but fantasy is not really the same thing. Never in real life have I gotten the feeling in my pants for a man. And some people are asexual and that might not apply to you if you're talking about being bi-romantic or like gay romantic, I guess. Wow, look at me being fucking inclusive. Yeah, I, I like am it. killing it. It's nice. So I think then maybe check your heart, your spirit, <laughs> your soul. Check in with your heart, listener. Go deep into your aortic valve mm-hmm. and see if a man is in there. Is is he pumping your love blood? No? You're fucking gay, bro. Gay. <laughs> How did I know I was bi? Ah, I just like always um, knew, but it didn't really like phase me that much for a while because I was like, whatever, everybody is. I don't know. I just kind of like thought that everybody was. And then again, I wish <laughs> game out. I know. Nah. I'm like, rude. Um, I was pretty lucky with it that it was just like a slow like realization and I had boyfriends. So I was like, I'll deal with that later. <laughs> I don't know. Have I talked to you about this? Am I blanking on something? I don't think so. I, because the way you've described it to me is that you had sexual feelings for women pretty much since you knew you had sexual feelings for men. You just like didn't super want to acknowledge them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell them about the Enrique Iglesias video. That doesn't have much to do with it, but I... <laughs> I thought there were women in it. Oh, yes, that one. What is the name of that song? El Bisexual. <laughs> By Enrique Iglesias. Yeah. La. La. Bisexual. Misgendered me in Spanish. <laughs> you idiot. Listener, if you know which song specifically affirmed her <laughs> bisexuality, mm-hmm. write in, listener, which bi- which video affirmed your bisexuality. Yes. Please let, listener, let us know. Subscriber, because you're fucking subscribed. Yeah, you are. What's the secret to getting a hot, funny, smart girlfriend? Was that for you or for me? Oh, I'm the hot, funny, smart girlfriend. Yeah. That's nice. How'd I do it? How'd you do it? Um, From the source. From the source. Just by being, like, confident. I was super scared to talk to Jen, but I waited around after the comedy show that she saw me at. I waited in the bar like a fucking creep, and then I had the opportunity to talk to one of her friends who told me that she was bi. Shout out Riley. Hey, Riley. I know that sounds creepy, but I just thought she was really cool. <laughs> Hot. And um, yeah, I-, I was really cool from that dark room <laughs> where you knew so much about my personality, just me sitting there. She's like, I thought she was really cool in that she laughed at my jokes. Um, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it depends on the context. But I think the point was that I let her know that I was interested almost immediately 
And because she didn't tell me that she wasn't interested, we chatted. Yes. And I think you can also feel a vibe. I don't think you should say that just because like you don't want to put advice out that's there. That's true. like hang around the bar. It's hard to make this sound. <laughs> if they don't say no, stay. <laughs> I don't think that's the best no. guidance. The point is do not be afraid to get rejected is yeah. my point. And then if she's not feeling it, yeah, that sucks. It hurts your feelings a little bit, but you'll feel fine the next day. And at least you know that you tried and you're not thinking about her forever like a freaking weirdo and writing on Craigslist misconnections. Yes. It's okay to get rejected. And when you get rejected, accept it and walk away. But honestly, I don't think you're a creepy cis straight dude. So I don't think you're going to misuse this information. Agreed. Great. Jen, what is the hardest thing about dating a podcaster? A lot of people wrote this question. How do you deal with Ashley talking about exes and other women and like my sex life and stuff like that? Oh, it doesn't it doesn't bother me. Most of the stuff I feel like we've talked about before and I already know. And like if I didn't feel comfortable with you saying something, I would just say, hey, don't talk about that on your podcast. But, you know. I understand the uh, the territory. Yeah, it's not for everybody. I look at the creative stuff as like, that's work. Like me joking, me joking about your pubes. That's work. Yeah. It's not real. It's not like actually how I feel about your pubes. Um, what about your sex life? How do you feel about when we talk about your bottom? My, my bottom. Oh, my bottom. Yeah, your bottom. No, your bottom. You know, Lisa, the person that walks around with you, <laughs> your bottom. Like, Lisa, get me a fucking coffee. And Lisa's like, okay, that's what I'm going to call my personal assistant. I'm going to refer to my personal assistant as my bottom. No, please don't do that. (laughs) I can't wait for the lawsuit to happen. Oh my God, it's coming. This is Lisa. This is my bottom. She'll be helping you until I'm ready to come out and perform. Oh my God. I was worried about work. I was worried about like my parents and like stuff, but they really don't care at all. We can't stop our parents from listening to the podcast. Oh my God. Mom, stop. I know you're watching this right now. I know right you're now. watching this right now. Please stop. I hope she stopped at the Enrique Iglesias part. <laughs> I feel like it's more acceptable to like talk about this kind of stuff now openly. And like, especially since Ashley Gavin has done the work for so many out there. Ashley Gavin. Thank you, Ashley Gavin, comedian. Thank you, comedian <laughs> Ash Gav's comedy. Ash Gav's comedy. For leading the way. What's something that the other person does that reminds you why you love them? What? Do you have something? You're such a loving person. It's like all day, every day. She just like offers to make me food, offers to buy my cop. Like literally anytime there's anything that she can do to like make my life easier she almost always offers and so it's just like constant I feel very loved I feel so loved I say that a lot to you I feel extremely loved but she still comes to my comedy shows and to have been dating for a year and for her to do that is like very very sweet very makes me feel good yeah you'll get bored of it though can't wait I know mine it's little it's when you go when you hold my hand it's like do you know what I'm gonna say? Yeah, I do. She goes. Yeah! She goes. Yeah! I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. I don't know if you can put that in. It's great under a mask, though. I don't know when the mask some. I come know off you're gonna if I'm gonna be able to it. do that. How do we meet? Listen to the freaking podcast. Does it bother Jen that so many people know Ashley loves eating her ass? No, that's definitely the one I've heard from friends about, though. Definitely got a shout out in the group text about that one. So a lot of people are asking if we're going to move in together or get married. Um, And a lot of people ask about the age gap. I personally have not really noticed the age gap. You're very mature and I'm an idiot. So, yes, she's a lot of like back and knee problems. (laughs) So, like, that's kind of (laughs) old. Jen, like, barely knows how to make a doctor's appointment. Like, today, (laughs) she was on the phone. Yes, you were on the phone with your mother today about how your mother signed you up to get in line for the vaccine. Mm, She did do that. I didn't want her to. She just was up early and was like. But the fact that your mom, like, has the command. My mom would never do that. Right, right, right. I'm too old for her to do that. I fully acknowledge It's okay. It's okay. You, like you're living at home with your mom during the pandemic no i'm not it's bound it's bound to happen no i'm not and then on my end i'm like you know 
getting my thyroid checked out. But I think the only area that our age gap actually makes a difference is I think we're a little bit at different points in life. I keep asking Jen to marry me and she keeps telling me that she needs to like have independent time Mm. to grow as a person. Mm. So that's not great, but... We'll, we'll figure it out or maybe it we was won't. so we'll awkward friends. at the restaurant when she like got down on one knee <laughs> oh my god in front of everyone i'm not asking her to marry me i'm just <laughs> checking in about her timeline yes that is true every day pretty annoying <laughs> no what is both of your favorite meals can we answer for each other shit Okay. I actually don't even know my answer, so that's why I wanted to do. That's why I wanted to do that. Can you decide what my personality is, please? <laughs> Help! I don't know who I am. <laughs> uh, Hello, darkness, my. I uh, I would probably say some sort of Thai food for you. You love Thai food. I love Mediterranean food. Fuck, you do. You love some hummus. Yeah. Some la- labna. She likes mm. some pita bread. Pita pita bread. I mean, nothing against Thai food. I love Thai food as well. So yeah, do you. you do love. You They're both are great. Mediterranean. But Mediterranean, I think, is like the number one. Oh, yeah. No, I know. I'm going to tell you right now. Greek salad without the onions because she's a fucking pussy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's her favorite. Fe- what a dumb favorite No, food. that's not my favorite meal. I just, you for a I just eat that a lot. No, Greek salad is her favorite food. <laughs> and how annoying that someone who looks like this, zoom, 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 someone who looks like this is like, I just love a Greek salad. Go fuck yourself. It's not my favorite meal. I guess that's better than someone being like, I eat pizza all the time. <laughs> Don't tell them. Jen's, okay, here's another. I'm going to roast Jen more. Jen's nice. favorite <laughs> pizza is Domino's. I'll stand by that proudly. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Like I want fake cheese. I want like that's that sauce is like just straight up sugar. I think Ashley's favorite food meal. This is hard. I feel like the first thing coming to mind is cacio e pepe. That is that, is, that is one of my favorite foods. Maybe I'll cook that's it. a mac and cheese for adults if you haven't had it. Yeah, with like it's like peppery mac and cheese basically. It's it's really good. So that's another way she's changed me. She opened my eyes up to the world of mac and cheese for adults. It's been a huge year, guys. Our age gap <laughs> has made a difference. Oh, yeah. And a full version of this uncut, unfiltered. You get to see all the boobies. Just kidding. Not that type of Patreon. Nope. Definitely not. But maybe. But you get to see the full uncut version of this if you go and subscribe to my Patreon. Do so it. do it. And do it. Ashley is very financially irresponsible. So I just spend a lot of money on frames. Are we done? Yeah, that was lovely. You good? Hey, pal. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you should be. I don't know how you fucking got here. Get out if you're not subscribed, but I know you will subscribe because you're a good person. You donate to charity. You are not racist on purpose. You are, you you love, you love giving back to the world if you are subscribed to this channel. Yeah, you do. So go and subscribe, hit the notifications, turn them on, like, comment, Engage with me, little Gavies, and follow me on all the other shit. And follow my girlfriend. This voice is insane. At Jen Parker Davis on everything. Facts. This is the content that you asked for. And you got it. Zoom, zoom. (laughs) How do you end these? I don't know. Just yelling? This is the end.